the sound card is responsible for creating all that you hear from your computer speakers. The sound card can also be used to bring sound into your computer from a microphone, TV, or any other audio device. Most motherboards have sound built into them, so a separate sound card isn't needed. If you're going to be using your computer for playing games, or as a music or video recording workstation, you should consider getting a separate sound card. You can find a sound card that will give you higher quality sound with all the inputs and outputs you need. The sound card will go into an open PCI or PCI Express expansion slot on the motherboard. See the motherboard component lesson and installation lesson 8 for more information. The quality of a sound card is based on the clarity of playback and recording of sound. The minimum specs to look for in a sound card are 16-bit, 48 kHz sampling, and a signal-to-noise ratio of 100 dB. This will give you CD quality playback and recording of sound. Higher-end sound cards offer 24-bit and 96 kHz sampling, which produces greater than CD quality and is considered professional quality sound. To bring sound into your computer and output the sound to speakers or a recording device, there are several connections available. All sound cards have three basic connections. A line out, which gives you stereo right and left to connect your speakers, called a 2.0 or 2.1 configuration. More on this later. A line in for bringing in sound from a TV or another audio device and a microphone input. Mid and high end sound cards have more connection options. A line out to for rear, left, and right speakers for connecting a 4.1 speaker set, a line out 3 for connecting center channel and subwoofer speakers for connection to a 5.1 speaker set, and a line out 4 for connecting two additional rear speakers for a 7.1 speaker set, a digital in and out for connecting to a digital playback or recording device such as digital speakers for playback or a digital audio recording device for recording sound from your computer. MIDI, or Musical Instrument Digital Interface, inputs and outputs for connecting a musical keyboard or similar digital instrument. Some cards will have RCA jacks for analog and digital inputs and outputs. Chances are you won't need all of these connection options, so you should look for a sound card that has the connections you will need. Getting extra connection options isn't a bad thing, since you never know what you may need in the future. More about 2.0, 2.1, 4.1, 5.1, and 7.1 speaker systems. The more speakers your system has, the better your experience watching movies and playing games on your computer will be. 2.0 refers to a speaker system with two front speakers. 2.1 adds a subwoofer for bass sounds. 5.1 adds a center speaker for better dialogue in movies and games, and two rear surround speakers. There are currently no 4.1 or 7.1 speaker systems being made for computers today. For more about these options and quality of speaker systems, see the speaker component lesson. A basic sound card runs between $30 to $50. Mid-range cards run between $50 and $100, and give you CD to pro quality sound with most connection options. High-end cards can cost as much as $300. For this, you will get professional quality sound and every connection option there is. When selecting the sound card for your system, we recommend a mid-level card around $80. It will give you pro quality sound and most of the connection options available. In the installation lessons, we'll go over how to install the sound card into your computer.